It's time now for TF Barbecue with Rob Springer. Hey guys, it's Rob, and um, for this week's uh, topic, I suppose it's going to be the same. Uh, actually, what I was going to talk about last week, but I had to miss last week's show, and that is um, there's a bit of a contradiction of sorts on fan behavior, and I'm not saying that it's pointing any particular group. Actually, kind of, but here, here's what I'm saying. Okay, um, last week, you know, the fan club put up sales for pre-orders of. Drift and the uh, other Battle Charger, and of course the server crashed and I had to wait a few days to do it. And people were mad, could frustrate because they just couldn't buy it like they should, you know. It rose up memories of Maddie Collector and the frustrations there. Me, I was thinking, wanting to buy the first edition Prime from San Diego Comic Con at Hasbro Toy Shop last summer, and man, I was mad because I was like, God, why can't I just buy this? You know, <laughs> why can't I just buy it? It pisses you off. And it's not just that, you know. Well, actually, people with the first edition uh, Prime toys, they're mad now because Hasbro canceled it, which we knew they were going to cancel it. It's just, I think, it's the distribution that's made people mad. That's so hard to get. You know, reached certain stores that want to carry it, some did. It was just frustrating. And, you know, of course, now it's segued into the main line, which some people don't like those toys as much, and there's frustration there. You know, even though those first edition toys are going to find their way into red packaging at some point we, it's still frustrating I know I've held this weekend I went out to stores looking for <laughs> these red toys and I got really annoyed because there's sightings at every Toys R Us in the Atlanta area of these guys and I go to the two within driving distance of me well, without taking a road trip and go figure they don't have them yeah, bridge. you know and it doesn't have to be trying to buy something and getting aggravated it could be like a discussion on a message board, something when someone gets under your skin. You know, you're getting an argument. It's social interaction. Regardless of the topic, it's social interaction. Someone get under your skin. Or, and you know, not being able to find toys or having a bad toy experience like the Walmart that for some reason didn't put the case of toys in the system and the cashier won't let you buy it and they go, it's a recall. And it's like, it's not a recall. You can't even spell it. Because you get so mad you start demeaning this person. <laughs> it's not just customer service issues or social interaction or you know, maybe he didn't like what went on in the show or a comic or, you know, like Ender. He really dislikes the live action movies. He'll let you know. <laughs> you didn't even have to ask. He'll tell you. Hey, he's willing to fight with you if you did like them. I mean, he's, that's how much he disliked them. And, uh, and, you know, that's disappointment in the fiction or whatever. That's just disappointment and that's this week's show. And if you tell someone why you're upset who's not involved, they, they look at you like you're crazy. They kind of give you a, Really? This, this really pisses you off, seriously? You need to get out. You need to get a life. Or, you know, if you tell someone how much you're into something, well, you need to get a life. You need to get out. Now, I know it's annoying. The reason I say it's hypocritical is, you know the Super Bowl just went off. You guys see where I'm going with this? It's okay to... And you know people got in bar fights over their team losing. I didn't even watch it, but, you know, I know people are pissed off because I saw it on Facebook. Oh, what the hell? Or, yeah, they won. You know, people got in a big fight over this stuff. There's probably bar fights. There's probably people in jail now because their team lost, which is poor sportsmanship. <laughs> and, uh, you know, people paint themselves up in elaborate, co you know, outfits to go to these games and cheer. Woo! Yeah! But, you know, a chubby guy in a bad Optimus Prime costume is, that dude is a loser! Despite the football painted belly, and cheese falling off his face because he ate a cheese dog. That's, that's that socially acceptable behavior. You can get, I've seen this at workplaces, people getting in an argument. You know, not just in your workplaces, which is behavior at work. You know, they're at the bar, whatever. And they're getting this fight. I mean, up in faces over. A ball player. I, this guy is good. This guy's better. No, he's not. He sucks. This is socially acceptable behavior. While I get in a bad mood because the guy at Walmart put toys up on the shelf and then I wasn't able to buy them because they weren't put in the computer. And I'm being childish. 
why is it on the shelf if I can't buy it? Of course I'm getting annoyed because, you know, I think we've all had that condescending retail manager, which I think that's one of the types of condescending personalities that make you want to choke even more is the condescending retail manager. It's like, you're servicing me, <laughs> dick. It just pisses you off. And, you know, other fan types, that's where it really gets weird because depending on the fandom and level, they might not be acceptable. Either. They might look down their noses at you, too. I mean, older sci-fi guys, of course, they're all accepting a Transformers now that the movies are huge, but about 04, 05, they'd look at you and be like, you like Transformers? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're dressed as a clean gun. Shut up. But, you know, you were... <laughs> You know, now they're like, oh, Transformers, yeah, yeah, they're pretty cool, they're pretty cool. But they see you get annoyed, like, ah, I just, I really, the movies, yeah, that's, I, they're fun, but I don't like how Bumblebee doesn't talk. Seriously, dude, you need a good life. You're dressed as a Klingon. You get a life. At least I'm just in a stupid t-shirt. <laughs> you know, it's, why is that, you guys think? Oh, well. I think I've rambled on enough, so I'm going to turn it over to comments. You guys want to weigh in, let us know on all of our different ways to comment on the subject. And I'll turn it back over to guys, and if this is on YouTube, just hit stop. So thanks for watching. Later.